manufacturer still has earmarked half a billion shillings for supporting smallholder farmers acquire farming equ equipment through the program smallholder farmers will receive tillers mist blowers sprayers and water pumps at a discounted price in efforts to unlock the agricultural potential <laughs> Steel Group develops, manufactures and distributes outdoor power equipment for forestry, agriculture, landscaping and construction. Through its newly opened subsidiary Steel East Africa, the farm has injected 500 million shillings to support smallholder farmers acquire the right farming equipment to boost agricultural productivity. The product uh, portfolio for our market uh, that uh, entailed also deciding on the distribution channel for, for our market. Uh, ensuring that in terms of distribution, we have dealers who are in places where our, our customers can be able to access uh, those products. And where in terms of logistics of our products movement from our warehouse in Nairobi to all over the country, that one is, is well uh, uh, catered for. Farmers will receive a range of agricultural products from tillers, mist blowers, sprayers to water pumps at an affordable price to boost the levels of mechanization of agriculture. We currently we have over 2,500 lines of individual inventory that we have already have in place. That includes new machines, uh, spare parts, accessories, and everything else that customers need to use our products uh, most efficiently. So the firm will also be offering both practical tutorials on how the various equipment works at their Nairobi hub. We are involved in, in, in influencing the activities that happens in our value chain. That included um, uh, determining the product uh, portfolio for our market. Uh, that uh, entailed also deciding on the distribution channel for, for our market, uh, ensuring that in terms of distribution, we have dealers who are in places where our, our customers can be able to access uh, those products. Within the region, the firm says it is targeting the booming agriculture, construction and forestry sectors in the region as governments continue to increase investments in these areas.